through this one. Okay. Uh, I was telling uh, my students that there are certain kind of questions that hasn't been coming up for quite a while. Okay. So this is the concept that you should know is combined base area, okay, with a common height or equal height. This is a concept that, okay, if you look through your 10 year series, right, okay, because we are going to cover the last 10 years, you will be able to see that for a few years, you don't see such question. Okay, so important that even though maybe some questions from like eight years ago, okay, haven't been coming out, doesn't mean that it will not come out, huh? Okay, so move on, ah, class end at 9 30, yes. Okay, now. There was a total of 21,400 cubic centimeters of water in both tanks. So these two parts add up to give you 21,400. Okay, now, if you've got the answer 23, then congratulations, you got it correct. Okay, now, I'm going on. Uh, next, they tell you the height of water level in Y was 5 cm more. So if you were to see this, okay, Five cm more. So this is the meaning of five cm more. Okay, I'm gonna make this into. A... So means that right. Okay, I'm gonna just shade it ah. Uh. So this part in red is the extra height of tank white. This is your five cm. So what you will do for this type of question is that you will try to make them equal height. Okay, so that you can actually find out the equal height of both. So what we will do is to remove the extra 5 cm of water in X. Okay, so how to remove the extra 5 cm of water? Let's find out the volume of that. Volume of water 5 cm in X will be, oh sorry, not in X, ah, sorry, my apology is in Y, this one. Okay, in Y will be 30 length times breadth times 5 cm, that will give you 3,000. Okay, done. Then, at the same height, okay, we are supposed to find the total volume of water. So, total volume of water in X and Y at equal height will be 21,400 minus 3,000. That will give you 18,400. So without that red color part, ah, look, ah, without this red color part, okay, the volume of water is 18,400. Remember what I mentioned about this concept? I said it is combined base area. What happened when we need to solve such question? Because the height is the same, Okay, at this point right now, we will find out the base area of Y and the base area of X. And what do we do? Remember in your volume, volume, length, breadth, height. To find height, we simply take volume divided by length times breadth, which gives us length times breadth is your base area. So if I can find the combined base area, okay, base area will be Combined base area will be 20 times 10 plus 30 times 20. That will give me 800. Once I have this, I just need to use this formula okay, to find height. I take the total volume, 18,400, divided by the combined base area. This is the total volume. And the, this is the combined DA. And that will give me 23 centimeters. That's it. Okay, I will say that this question, eh, sorry, 3000. Thank you. I missed out one zero. Wrote too fast. Okay, now, so I will say that this question, okay, two marks. Okay, it can be also three marks. But they made it two marks. Lah. So that means the main thing comes from here and answer here. Okay, so that means you get less method marks. 
Okay, so now next part. N pot 3,300 cubic centimeters out of tank Y. Then tank Y was half filled. So that means after you take out water from tank Y, this amount of water is actually half of tank Y. So let's find out what's half of tank Y. So volume of tank Y at first would be what would the volume of tank Y be at first? So it will be what? We know the height now, right? Just now we found out that this is 23. So the height of water in tank Y was 23 plus 5. So it will be 30 times 20 times 23 plus 5, which is the height. That should give you 16,800. So what do we do after this? Okay, I see most of you type in the answer 45. 45 is correct. So this is the half of the tank, right? You are trying to find the height of the tank Y. So you need to find the full tank. So if half of tank Y can hold 16,800 cubic centimeters, one full tank can hold how much? I need to times two. La. Okay. Okay, before I times two, again, uh, I haven't finished. You need to pour the water out, then it becomes half filled. So I need to remember to minus away 3,300. Okay, before I multiply by two. That is the crucial part. Okay, one, three, five, zero, zero. That is when it's half filled. Okay, some of you would have gone this way to find the height when it's half filled, also can. So if you find the height when it's half filled, how to find the height when it's half filled? Height of half of tank Y. You will take volume, again, divide the base area, which is 20 times 30. That will give you 22.5. That's half. Then you take 22.5 times two, you get 45. That is one way. Another way is to find the volume of tank Y first. Tank Y will be 13500 times 2. That will give you 27,000. Then to find the height again, the formula doesn't change. Volume divided by the base area. And that will give me... 45 or so. Okay, so those of you that can do this type of question, uh, very good. Okay, will you get a uh, method mark if we get 22.5? Cannot. Because we are not, so they will say that, okay, uh, not sure whether you know that you need to times two. Okay, or is it that there's a, there's a missing part somewhere that you do not understand the question, so cannot. 14A. Okay, now, 